Would you agree that uh, nobody wants a difficult, nightmarish transaction or situation in a transaction? However, uh, smooth seas don't make for a strong sailor kind of thing. So it's like in those tough times and in those like, oh my gosh, moments, um, that's when you oh, that's really when learn you, your contract. You, you really do. learn your process. For and, sure. For sure. Uh, Absolutely. I think it just makes you a better agent, but no, man, it's do. painful going through it. I know. Yeah. I mean, I remember Susan, like at that, I had a couple of unique situations going <laughs> on on some of my first transactions. I think a year and a half ago, she goes, Derek, you're more experienced than a lot of my other agents just because of the transactions <laughs> that you've had land in your yeah, lap. Yeah. She's like, I don't know where you find these <laughs> deals, <laughs> but uh, you're sure Why? learning quick. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's I a blessing. It, I mean, no, Sucks, it is. You do blessing. love. Yeah. And I mean, and now when I see other stuff, it's not nearly as bad. Um, but no, you never, I've learned in this industry, you, you can never, you've never seen it all. Like, yep. no. you, yep. you just have not. Yep. Yeah. There's always a, a weird twist to something. Yeah. Always, always, always a problem to solve. Yeah. yeah. But he's really good at that. Yeah. I try and to. I think the hardest part about when something's going wrong is you actually want to back up and be quiet <laughs> and hide. And But when it's us and we're real estate agents, we have to run toward the fire. Yeah. yeah. And so that's what he got to learn yeah. early on was, uh-oh, problem, I have to solve it and I have to over-communicate so that they feel peaceful about it. Yeah. Right. You know, And that's one of the best lessons For an sure. agent can learn because so many of them just back out and disappear and then people are lost. No, that is have, such a terrible thing in our it industry. Is. It is. Yeah. You yeah. have to have, and it, and it takes it from both sides. Like both agents need to have it. Like yes. the communication is what solves the problems and yeah. um, not I, screaming at each other no. and yeah. threatening lawsuits. Yeah. No. And yeah. like, that's the biggest thing I've realized too, is with agents, like the agents, we really need to view ourselves as on the same team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we, we are on the same team. We, we need to protect and represent our clients but we are on the same team to facilitate because both the buyer and the seller want to this to deal to close. They want it to happen. So our yep. job is to make it happen. Yeah. You know, obviously fulfilling the whatever is written in the contract. But the I don't like that where some agents just from the very beginning, you're the you're you're no you're the enemy, not the enemy, but you're the opposition. I think that's actually a teaching in the industry and it's not something we teach here. Yeah. Um, mm. It's like, a okay, you're supposed to protect that buyer and protect that seller. So they go into a transaction as if it's an enemy situation yeah. right. instead of creating an ally and we're all going to the same finish line. Yeah. And I learned that real early on yeah. was, oh, wow, these people think that that's the right thing to do. But if you don't have allies, like when you know each other, I want to accept your offer. Oh, I want to sure. work with you. You're going to help me problem solve. Yep. We're going to get these people to the finish line. Absolutely. And the agents that make it difficult, mm, mm -mm. that's rough. No. Nope. It's rough. But there's a teaching out there like you have a fiduciary duty to protect their interest above your own. Yeah. And we do have a fiduciary duty, but not at the expense of squashing a transaction. Correct. Yeah. At well, in yeah. this business is, you know, relationships is everything, yeah. but not yeah. just with clients. It's actually with our fellow agents and stuff like that. Yes. Because, yeah. how you know, buyers, they mm -hmm. come and go and, and sellers, they come and go. But the agents, they come and go a lot of them. <laughs> but there, there's, there's going to be a lot of times where you're going to be going through that same doorway a couple times. Yeah. So you're like, you know, there's, you know. Yeah. So you cross paths with the same people. Yeah. And, and people don't forget. No, they don't. No, so if no, you don't. burn them bad on a previous deal, yeah, you're yeah. bought. You're yeah. Mm -hmm. Blackballed. Yeah. Yes. You're, on yep. a, you're on a special list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Exactly. laughs> you don't want to be on that list. Exactly. Exactly. No, you don't. No. But it is fun to learn all that stuff. Oh, for sure. You know, and you get, it makes you think and you get creative in your problem solving. So yeah. I don't know. When people do that, I think we just have to, as agents and brokerages, take the opportunity to teach them let's do this different yeah because they've been taught something wrong and, yeah and we can we can fix it i think <laughs> some of it too has to do with egos i feel like oh yeah, yeah. You know, both for both experienced agents but also so, like young like new agents not young but new agents yes. i feel like they have something to prove sometimes yeah and that's and i understand that but you, you know once you learn that the other the other way is so much easier yeah being on the same